This podcast is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. I mean, it was a good day. It was a long day, and, uh, you know, it was probably good for us to play a doubleheader, and we feel like there's probably a couple coming down the road. You know, played played a good amount uh, of our position players, and uh, that way a lot of pitchers do really well today. So, uh, you know, the first game, we had Smith on a pitch count, and uh, when he got to it, we that's why we didn't send him out for the fifth. It was kind of like, you know, he's pitching next Friday. We're trying to get him. We just don't want to ever overdo it because he's going to be on one less day. So, uh, you know, it seems like a long time ago, but uh, he ended up throwing the ball, you know, fairly well there. And I thought the second game, you know, Brady, he he would probably tell you, and you saw it, he just didn't command his fastball like he did last week. Last week it was – it was uh it was great uh, today he uh he used that breaking ball a lot and uh fastball was you know i think in the third inning he got it going a little bit better but his pitch count got up there in the fourth and obviously we got him out so uh it was good to see cody frank come in and get us some quick outs he got two outs on two pitches and uh and they gave us two more innings kind of slowed him down a little bit and Felt like we had some balls hard, you know, uh, kind of the breaks of the game. You know, they hit, they get a base hit. They're about ready to take the lead two to one. The ball hits their runner. And, uh, and you know, it's uh, we came in and, you know, just kept getting them out. And then we finally put together that four-run fifth and felt pretty good about it after that. So it's good to see the bats break loose late in the game. And I don't know, I feel like I'm bouncing back to two different games. But it, it was – uh you know, it was good to see some guys swing the bat pretty good there, especially towards the end of the second game. What about Stillwell? Uh, just your thoughts on how he played today? Yeah, I mean, Ozzy obviously just hit, and, uh, you know, he's real close to being in the field. Uh, I don't feel like I'll, I'll play him tomorrow, but maybe Tuesday in the field. Uh, and, again, I'll see how he feels tomorrow in the morning after running around the bases a lot because I – he was on base a lot. It was really good to see him swinging the bat the way he did. And, you know, he got, he got tested his first at bat in that first game. And when he, when he had to run full speed to beat out that base hit and a little nervous as it was got down the line, got him infield hit. And then he had a nice single on a change up hit really stayed through it hit, uh, in the first inning of the second game. And then obviously the, the home run, I mean, he, that that was that was really really pretty swing. Stayed back and used his hands and kept it right inside that foul pole. And uh, I thought he looked really good. Looked like he hadn't really skipped a beat. He had five RBI for you today, and they all came with two outs. What did you think about the way he hit in those crucial situations? Yeah, it was it was, it was great. You know, he got a base hit to left, uh, and I don't even remember which game. It might have been. First game when he singled the left with a runner on third and two outs. And I know he got another hit with two outs. It drove in a run. And and then obviously, you know, he 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 took a a pitch to I think to get the count to two two. And then he, you know, he laid off a borderline pitch. It was a ball, and then he got in a pitch he could handle and he hit it about as far as you can hit it. And uh, you know, that's when we kind of caught our breath a little bit. We had a five run lead or four run lead, whatever it was, it's time. And he had a good day. Up until you got those two home runs in the fifth, would you say it had been kind of a frustrating day offensively for you? Yeah, it was a little bit frustrating. You know, we knew what we were going to get into the first with their first two pitchers. You know, the first guy is – he's just – he's really hard to hit if you're left-handed. Uh, just, it's just – I won't go into it but too much, but he's a really good changeup, and his break of all the way he throws it, it's, it's just different. And uh, – and the reliever they brought in almost the same type of guy, like the right-handers hit him better. That's why I was bringing in right-handed hitters for my lefties to try to hit those guys a little bit. Um, but, yeah, I mean, he's one of those guys that can frustrate you. And uh, we we did just enough, obviously, to win. And then, you know, the second game, a little frustrating as well early because basically what we were getting is fastballs and change-ups. And then he, then he started spinning a few sliders and uh, – you know, we struck out too much second game. I think our guys would tell you that. And, uh, you know, it's a little – 4.35 o'clock, it's, it's not real easy to see the ball compared to, say, in the middle of the day or 
when the sun goes down and, and you're just under the lights, it's just, it's different. It's, you know, it's tough for both teams, but I thought McNeese played really hard and uh, they, they were in both games really. I mean, the first game, obviously they're in, in it till the end and the second game, uh, you know, they, we, I think we got out of a jam there and then Cody got us out of a jam, um, but they had a chance early to score some runs on us. Obviously, Gackle's come through for you in big spots before, but it seems like he just keeps getting better and better in these high leverage spots just through a month of the season. What have you learned about his makeup and just how he handles these situations? Yeah, I mean, he he brings a lot to the table, especially late in the game because he's, he's a really good athlete and he can feel this position. You know, a lot of times late in the game, they're going to try to bunt on you, do some things, try to, try to find a way to win. Obviously, he's throwing a lot of strikes, keeping the ball in the mid-90s, got a good breaking ball, and he's using his changeup. Uh, I guess what I found out about him, I mean, we – we like him back there. We trust him. He doesn't seem to get rattled. And, uh, you know, that's two or three times already this year. We brought him in tight games with bases loaded. And, uh, you know, he's he's done a great job for us. I'm sure Coward's not the only thing you're concerned about. But, you know, it's good to see you guys show some some of that pop in, in the lineup, especially with Jones and Aloy there in that inning. Just how encouraging is that to see kind of what the ceiling for this offense can be? Yeah, I mean, our we haven't even come close. We've frustrated because we know that we get everybody healthy trying to figure out who to play a little bit, you know, left field has kind of been up and down and, you know, Lovich has done a nice job and, you know, Jones has hit some home runs and, you know, Edmondson's he's, he's had his moments too. Uh, center field has been a little frustrating because it's really good defense, but not much offense. And we feel like there's more there. Uh, you know, uh, we just, we, we think that, you know, we won a lot of games and we haven't played great. We played good. We pitched really good. Uh, we know the hitting is going to get better as as we get more at bats, and you know you guys just gain a little bit of confidence. But getting Stovall back and kind of can solidify some things. We should have turned a couple of double plays today that we didn't turn, and you know those will, those will cost you. You know you got to turn those things. Uh, Stovall back, but you know Nolan also had a good day. Peyton Holt had a great day. Just how encouraging is it? You know, as the guys are getting healthy, uh, that that competition is still going on. Everyone's kind of uh, finding their own way to contribute. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a it's a good situation. You know, you you never you never have enough. You, you know, you can say, well, you got all those great arms. What are you going to do? But you always find yourself needing one more. And it's usually the way position player wise. You know, you got guys that are good, but they're not all swinging it at the same time so you can go to the next guy and you know you can pick pick the guy up a little bit it's, it's but it's uh it's nice to have options it's good to see some guys healing up a little bit uh you know because it's uh well, it's a long season we got a lot of games to play the, the pitch count for Hagen has, has been very gradual right now early in the season and it, it's obviously working as well. Does that take maybe a, a bigger step next week with, with Missouri and well, SEC? He would, have, he would have taken, he would have thrown 90 plus today. If, if, uh, you know, if we were playing Friday, we would have, whatever, but we're trying to give him, you know, just give him a little bit of a break because he has a less of uh, less time to, to uh, get ready. So, yeah, I mean, next, Next weekend, he'll be, he'll be whatever, whatever we need, whatever he looks like it needs to be done. You know, we're not going to probably throw him 100 pitches or much over it, but if that's what it took and he feels good, then he, he can go that. Depends on the weather. It depends on a lot of things. So you had Dylan Carter up in the bullpen. I mean, is, is the downside of the run rule that you didn't get to bring him into yeah. a, a low-stress situation? Yeah, I felt bad. I mean, we told Diggs to get a hit, but we told him not to hit a home run. I'll be honest with you, we did. And then we kidded. We said, okay, just just go ahead. <laughs> and he crushed that ball. We knew it was going right left the bat. But, yeah, you know, Dylan, he's got good stuff. And and if it's a leverage situation, I don't have a problem putting him in, even though he hadn't pitched in 10 months. Uh, because I, I've seen him throw to our guys live hitting. And, uh, you know, he's held his own out there. And uh, But, yeah, so, you know, he got hot, hot. So I don't know if he'll be available tomorrow. And, uh, he'll definitely be ready to go on Tuesday, if not. Coach, Brady Tiger continues to be consistent on Saturday after Saturday. What does that say about him that you can throw him out there and, you know, he can give you four to five innings of shutout ball? Yeah, he's been really good. And and he, I'm sure he'd tell you if he was sitting up here that, he didn't have his best stuff today. It was all about command. His stuff was good. His breaking ball was amazing. Uh, 
you know, last week, like I said, he could spot that fastball to his glove side at will. It was easy for him. Not so much today. It's just the way the game works and your body works, your mind works. It's it's hard to repeat everything, but, you know, he's so good at working out of a jam. He got himself in a jam. He got himself out. Uh, I think a little bit of that, you know, experience that he gained two years ago when he was finishing games early in the season for us uh, is really helping him as a starter. You know, I, I think that, uh, you know, Smith the same way. If he gets into a jam, he's really good at getting out of him, and he's had a lot of experience coming in and closing games and finishing games. So, uh, yeah, he's been – Tiger's been really good. Hudson White, too, also a couple hits in the first game. What have you seen out of him? Is there a change in his approach after struggling the last couple of weeks or, you know, just one of those days where he was able to put the ball and find the gaps? Probably a little bit of approach, but uh, more than anything, you know, this game's so mental, you know, you just, you got to get over and sometimes you just got to just say heck with it and quit worrying about everything. And, you know, I saw him a little freer today. It was really good to see him, especially drive that ball into right center. That was a big hit for us. That was another two out RBI, and I think in the first game. So, um, yeah, if we can get them all going, it'd be nice. If we can get it going by uh, next Friday about six. Thanks, sir. Okay. Yeah. The play where the line drive hit the base runner. Uh, how much of a turning point do you feel like that was and how fortunate did you feel to get out of that inning? Yeah, I mentioned it at the beginning. I mean, it's the, it's luck of the game. You know, then we come in and line into a double play that would have been a double down the line. I mean, crazy things happen. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's probably going to score two on that one for sure. But probably two, they're going to have the lead and still be hit and we'll be down two to one. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if it was a turning point. I think we were going to score some runs, but uh, you know, it, it definitely, it definitely changed the middle of that game. Bet online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V. For your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.